it's time for the Champions League semi-final second leg as we take on Liverpool at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Run the intro. Hello all and welcome back to another episode of our Spurs FM23 Beta Safe. Hope you're all doing well. If you're enjoying the series so far and you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribing to the channel, of course, and giving this video a big thumbs up. So, you heard it in the intro. Champions League, semi-final, second leg against Liverpool. The first leg went like this. We're going to dive in and look at the first leg quickly first. It was a 1-1 draw at Anfield. Harry Kane opened the scoring first from a Hugo Lloris assist, of course. From from the keeper, straight at the top, Harry Kane bagged it home. Nice and easy. Darwin Nunez got on back not long afterwards. And then, it was a fair to the fair. You can see here, though, we've been playing with a 4 2 3 and one so a little bit different to what we've been doing in the previous episodes, which we'll get into in a little while. But yeah, Champions League semi-final, things are going well. Apart from the Premier League, though, things didn't go to plan in the Premier League. We wanted to win the league. I mean, I think we're hoping for a lot to try and win the league in this first season. It, it hasn't happened. Liverpool are champions now on 90 points, while us, Manchester United and Man City are all fighting for second place right now. So it's up to anyone right now. We're two games to go. We can still get second place, but who knows? I think top four for our first season would be pretty good. And the fact we can get to a Champions League final, possibly, maybe today. Who knows? But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, league form. Let's dive in and have a quick look. Obviously, last time at your source was that 4-0 victory as we battered Brighton away at the Amex. And since then, things have been going a lot better. Well, I say a lot better. It's been very hit and miss. We drew with Nottingham Forest. I mean, that's not an improvement, really. So that's much worse now. We lost to Liverpool 2-1 in the league, which pretty much gave them the league title back point, I thought, personally. We did get some good victories though. We beat Inter Milan, I mean, not the away leg. We beat him with the home leg 2 0. Richardson and Young in some of the goals. And we did beat Manchester City with a Richardson goal in that one. A very important one for us, trying to make sure we get top four this season. And then draws against West Ham. We beat Everton 4 1. A massive victory. Young Min Son, Harry Kane both getting braces in that game. And then we did beat Arsenal as well. It's a massive one in the North London derby. A Harry Kane hat trick, which you always love to see. And yeah, as you mentioned already, Champions League. We drew with Liverpool in the first leg, and then most recently we drew 0 0 with Aston Villa. I mean, it's a very rested team. You see here Emerson Rowe getting a start, Sanchez getting a start, Jao Pedro getting Richardson. These boys are getting starts as well. Oliver Skip starting as well. So, we've got to rest a lot of players ahead of this big one because this is the big one now. With two games to go against Chelsea and Brentford. I mean, obviously, like the Premier League's done, but Chelsea could still cost us getting Champions League football this season. I mean, I don't think they can get them to themselves now, but it depends on European competitions because. We haven't actually qualified yet for the Champions League, even though all three of us are in the top four. So it's interesting this is going to happen. Obviously, there's other teams in the Europa League, Europa Conference League. But of course, the Champions League currently now sits like this. So, teams left in it are our own Tottenham Hotspur, of course, as we mentioned already. We play Liverpool today and PSG and Barcelona. But Barcelona are currently winning 1 0 from that first leg against PSG. So, we're we getting the final. It'd be a toughie, but we've got to get a bit past Liverpool today first, which is the big one. We get past Liverpool, of course. We get knocked out today. Series over. We didn't win the well. We won. We won. We won a Carabao Cup, didn't we, in our first season at Spurs? It's not a bad first season, really. That's that done. But I mean, it'd be nice to end it with the Champions League as well. Our first season would be absolutely huge. Something we did not expect to get in our first season. Before we take a few seasons, but we'll see how it goes today. As we dive in, we look at this attacking four three three. We're going all fully guns blazing for this one. We need to win. I want to get to that final, and this is how we're going for it. Hugo Lloris in there, Poro, Romero, Dyer and Davies at the back, Ward Prowse and Bissouma in the middle, with Richarlison, Kulaveski, Hyung Min Son, Harry Kane. I've not played these four together in attacking roles at all yet this season. Being our four best attackers, you'd imagine it should work really, really well. So we're hoping today this is going to do the business for us. You can see it's a very attacking mentality. There's a lot of in possession, like different stuff in here, so. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of individual instructions as well. It, it's a very attacking formation. I'm really hoping this can do the business for us. It's a huge game after all, as we look to overdo Liverpool and get to the Champions League final. So let's dive in and hear that all-important Champions League anthem. One last time, possibly. Who knows? But here we go. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Liverpool. So then here we go. Then for possibly the last time within this save, or for a while for me and Football Manager, I actually hear the Champions League music, of course. Over on my Twitch save, we're currently in the second division in Iceland with HK. We're a long way from European football in that save. So after this Spurs series ends, possibly today, possibly next episode, we want to hear the Champions League music for a long, long time within the game. So it'd be interesting to see how today goes. Can we make it through to the final? It's 1-1 from the first leg. That all-important second leg kicks off right now. We're at home 
We're going very attacking. You've seen the mentality. You've seen how the team looks. We're going for gold. We're going for blood. We're trying to get that final against Barcelona or PSG. So straight away from kickoff here, you can see Liverpool do a possession. The target on the field straight away is Matty. Fine for Mo Salah. Surely not an early goal. Not this fast. Surely, surely. I mean, it's been 18 seconds. It's been 18 quick, fast, horrible seconds. And we're already 1-0 down. Out of nowhere here. Matip gets the ball. Charges forward here. Finds a lot of space. Mo Salah. I mean, no one, no one goes to him. Luis Diaz, one touch. Darwin puts it home. It's, it's been 16 seconds when the ball hits the back of the net. This isn't the start we planned. This isn't how we planned for this episode to go like this at all. It is not looking good. It is not looking good at all here for Spurs. Hopefully we can turn it back on and get one back here. It's Ben Davies now with the throw-in. He finds Kulaveski. Kane. Still Harry Kane. Can he... I thought, I thought he got fouled there for a moment. I did think for a slight second there he did get fouled, but nothing comes of it. As Ward-Prowse has got a knock. I mean, not now, James. The big money move, James Ward-Prowse, in that January window. Now he's got a knock. We need him the most for them set pieces to get some goals today. Fabinho finds Mo Salah. I mean, that goes. That's number two of 30 minutes. We're in serious trouble. As Trent gets the ball. So the highlight ends. It says Ward-Prowse looks okay now. So I think we might be okay just for a little bit longer here. But now, Hugo Lloris is the ball. He finds Romero in the middle now. Ward Prowse has the ball. And we're at Ward Prowse's little knock there. So we need to be careful. As Richardson loses the ball very easily. Ward Prowse wins it back. Young Min Song can't win that ball. Henderson finds Mo Salah. Well won by the Spurs defence now. As Dyat finds Ben Davies. Ball through the middle. I don't know why we're going through the air trying to find Harry Kane there. It's never going to work against Virgil van Dijk. Never in a million years, you'd think. Salah now. Got the ball. Cuts inside. Finds Darwin. Ward Prowse. Luis Diaz. That's a great save from Hugo Lloris. Somehow. It's only 2-1. Liverpool had a few chances now, which is a bit concerning. We do for one of our own here. But so far, not so planned. There's Harry Kane. Young Min Son. A lot of room for Son here. Young Min Son. Oh, Young Min Son to the rescue. It is Liverpool 1. Spurs 1. 2-2 two an aggregate. 27 minutes. Perfect timing for Sonny to get a goal there. Perfect timing for us here. As the ball's well won by Sonny here. Finds Harry Kane. Back into Young Min Son. He just runs. Runs, runs, runs right out the wind. Puts it home. Alisson's in no man's land. He's 1-1, touching distance for Champions League final. Can we do it today? It's a big occasion. It's the biggest game. Probably so far, this FM for me. Well, this FM for me, definitely. Champions League semi-final this early into the game cycle was absolutely insane. It's Basuma loses the ball here. Darwin Nunez. Henderson's for on goal. Of all players, Jordan Henderson. Getting a chance to have a Liverpool. But again, now with the corner at for Liverpool. You need to be careful here. Robertson's going to swing it in. Some big bodies in there for Liverpool as Henderson heads over the bar. And we'll have that all day long. So 10 minutes out of half time now. I mean, it's been a quite even game, actually. As Ward Prowse has a free kicker here. It's a great save from Allison, to be fair. It's a great, great save from Allison. I'll say Liverpool have had the better of the chances so far. They've had more chances, to say the least. But with half time looming, if we can hold up to half time here, that'd be great for us. Most likely gets the ball now on the edge of the box. Charges forward. Don't bring him down. Please be careful. Dyer gets rid of it. Couldn't find Kulaveski. Matip gets the ball. Back in the Salah. Big ball to the box now. Well taken there by Hugo Lloris. You won't think the hollow's over just yet. There's two minutes stoppage time here before the half ends. Romero. Finds Pedro Porro now. He can charge up this right hand side. He's got options. I mean, he needs to find them quickly. I mean, that, that is worrying there. I thought Nunez was going to get that ball first. There's Romero now. Plays inside. He's last lost the ball now to Henderson. Mo Salah has so much room on his left hand side. Right hand side, even. Thankfully, it's some great defending by Eric Dyer and Romero in the middle. And this is still going this half here. Big ball into the box and over the bar. We'll take that into half time. And you know, 1-1. One, one, going to the break. I am worried about that Ward-Prowse knock early on. Kulaveski looks pretty tired as well already here. Going to half time though. Liverpool have been the better team. We are quite lucky to get away with just 1-1 one, one as you go into the break. So reluctantly, two changes made at half time here. As Kulaveski has come off now for Jar Pedro. Jar Pedro now playing the shadow striker in behind the strikers. We have brought Hjoyberg on to replace Ward-Prowse in that box-to-box -box role. Of course, we're going to lose out on them set pieces from Ward Prowse, but he was very tired. He was very injured. And to be fair, he wasn't doing much. As Jal Pedro's actually got a knock now himself. Of course he has. Of course he has. As we've got 20 minutes to go here, Luis Diaz now on this left hand side. Back to Van Dyke. 1 5. Well won by Hoiberg. Harry Kane. Big switch. There's Jal Pedro. He's got a slight knock, remember. He's lost the ball straight away here. Naby Kate gets the ball now. Brings it inside. Darwin Nunez. I mean, Nunez going from distance there. It was never going in, surely, you'd imagine. 20 minutes to go, though. There's a lot of tired legs out here now. Who do we change? That is the big problem now. Who do we change? Joe Pedro, of course, has that knock. But again, who do we bring in that camera roll? Do we trust someone like Alfie Devine, the youngster that come in here with 15 minutes to go? Would he be the game changer in that camera roll? He's very capable of playing Shadow Striker, to be fair. But the fact we've only put Joe Pedro on not long ago, 
Tend to lower leg injury, so it is tempting to try and bring him off, possibly, but we do try and get him to go through it. Hampered with injury it isn't ideal, though. We might have to do it here. I mean, on the 6.4 as well, Richarlison's not had the best of games as well on this right-hand side. But again, option-wise, we're lacking. We could also bring on Perisic a bit more further at the field, possibly. You've got Hyungmin on this side here. Richarlison off now. Perisic on this side, possibly. And then maybe we take off Jao Pedro, then. And take the risk. Or do we go for a two up front instead at this point of the game? Try Jao Pedro a little bit longer. We'll try him now as that advanced forward here. Next to Harry Kane. Kane can go as that pressing forward alongside him. Go for the extra body up there. Gumming Son and Kane then. It's your Perisic and Jao Pedro alongside each other. Maybe this could be the way forward. The extra body up there. Two up front. We need a goal desperately. 15 to go. We're going to increase the boys one more time here. Of course, that knock on Jao Pedro is worrying. But the next goal is going to be the winner in this one, you'd think now. Five minutes to go. He's a Pedro Poro throw in. Romero, Poro. Van Boyd heads it out. Five. Poro gets it back now. Born to the box. Perisic. Oh, it could have been. It could have been the goal. The sense burst of the Champions League final. So close yet again here. We came back into it the second half here. But as we go through stoppage time now, with seconds to go, there's another highlight. Son. Romero. Oh, it could have been. It could have been, and it's still going. It's still going. Allison, ball forward. Dyer wins it. Basuma loses it. Salah, not like this. Not in the last few seconds of the game, surely. Romero. Finds Hugo Lloris. Ref, just blow the whistle. Give us extra time. Or not. Young Win Son. What's he going to do here? Romero. Hjoyberg. Poro. Great possession by Spurs here, but they need to create something here. Big ball. There's Perisic. He's been brought down by Joe Gomez. It is the time to get this freaking into the box. Get everyone forward. Get Hugo up there. Lloris, get up the field. Everyone. Pedro Poro with the free kick. Can he find a Spurs player in that box and get one last goal? And since Spurs, the Champions League final, there's a lot of delay here. Poro sings it in. Oh, heady clear. It's been heady clear now. And surely that's going to beat you'd imagine. I mean, I don't know what's happened there. He's left the ball. As we continue into extra time, a 1-1 draw. That early goal we conceded. Probably allows a bit of a sit down the path here, but again, into extra time now. A lot of tired legs. We tell the boys are doing very well. In terms of changes, we can't really change much. Everyone's absolutely shattered now. I mean, you see a 6.5 there on Basuma, a 6.4 on Jao Pedro. He's having a bit of a crap game anyway. Maybe he's the one we do take off at this point, but again, who would you bring on in this role now? Who would you put up there? Young Min Song goes up front here, maybe, and then on the right wing, we could probably bring someone else on, possibly. Okay, so we've done a few tweaks. This is what we're looking at. This isn't what I'd normally go for, honestly. I mean, if we're going to put, actually, we're going to change you to an advanced player maker and attacking option there. We're going for 4 3 3, but with three strikers. Hurricanes are pressing forward through the middle. Young Min Sun and Perisic all up from Alfie Devine coming out in behind now. Not that I'd again bring Alfie Devine on, really. He didn't have much game experience this season. He comes on now, such a huge moment. Could possibly, hopefully, win us a game or potentially cost us this match now. So, yeah, we're going to encourage the boys now to go into this first half of extra time. Tamiskus now. Has the throw in. Finds Van Dyke. Back to Tamiskus. I'm in the ball here. On the counter. We could probably beat the likes of Van Dyke now. Probably quite tired. One fourth as well. Possibly quite tired. And how fast the legs of Perisic and Hyungmin Son. You'd imagine. Get the upper hand of these boys. The only thing is there. The stretch is quite wide here. We don't have those wingers no more. It's Josh through and goal. Josh through and Josh scores. It's going, it is going to count. I, I thought there for a moment. It wasn't to get flagged for something. But I wasn't sure what exactly. But the goal does count now. 95 minutes in, Joe Gomez finds Jotaria in a lot of room, to be fair. The fence is nowhere near him. Puts it home with ease. 2 1 Liverpool. Right, at the 100 minute mark, nothing's really happened so far for Spurs in this first half of extra time here. As we get into the halfway point now, we do not have long left at all here. There's a lot of tired legs on that pitch. I'm just wondering if we can do any more changes here. Possibly Basuma needs to come off. We're going to start the second half. I'm just thinking, there's probably no other moves we can do really at this point. It's kind of a case of. We're just throwing everyone forward, hoping for the best, hoping something comes here. But, I mean, right now it looks very unlikely now. Harry Kane wanted to come off as well, very tired. It's a most out of free kick, and this could be the now in the coffin here. Hugo Lloris gets the ball, three minutes to go. Can Spurs do something? Pedro Paro charging forward down this right-hand side, needs an option. Going by himself still here. Yeah? He's found Harry Kane. There's Harry Kane still, and, I mean, he needs to pass it. He needs to pass it there. Harry Kane being very selfish there, not passing to anyone. As the game ends, and you, see, you can see there, we went strike lost the last few minutes there. I thought we'd try something. It, did, it didn't work, clearly. The game ends. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Liverpool 2, and we are out.
of the Champions League. So as the series comes to an end, our one-year save with Tottenham Hotspur to see just how much we could do within one year with this team. We do fail on the Champions League. We do fail on the Premier League. But on the plus side, though, we did win that Carabao Cup. So we did bring some silverware back to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Full Spurs did their first bit of silverware in a long, long time, of course. Failing in the FA Cup, the Champions League and Premier League were not great for us. But Premier League finished at third in the end, at the end of this season. It was not a bad finish for us. I did play the rest of that through after that match there. We did come third in the Premier League. We got a nice healthy budget of £70 million to spend. But the series ends there. We have improved Tottenham Hotspur. We got a higher finish. We are third in the Premier League. The highest I've had in quite a while. You have to admit by this point right now. And the fact that they've won the Carabao Cup within this series. It, it's better than nothing. It's a shame it ended though. On that Champions League defeat. To Liverpool in that semi-final. It could have been what could have been taking Spurs to the Champions League final and winning that in the final episode. But that is the series now. It is over. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this series, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You are liking these videos. And let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of the Let's Play stuff on the channel. I weren't going to do much of it this year, but we might do a few more of these one-year-only saves. So let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of this stuff on the channel. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series. We'll see you again very, very soon.